Hello guys, welcome back to another State Discover video. In today's video we'll be looking at Long Winter again and we'll be doing a fishing guide this time. So let's get right into the video. Firstly, there's four different fishing rods in the game. Uh, we've got the basic slash starter fishing rod, which has no perk at all. The telescopic fishing rod, which has 20% faster fishing. The bait buster fishing rod, which has 50% faster fishing. And the reel of fortune fishing rod, which fishing spots do not deplete, but you have 15% uh, slower fishing. Some other things that could help you on your fishing journeys is a bag of worms, which gives 25% better fishing for 300 seconds, and a bag of blueberries, which gives 10% better fishing for 250 seconds. Anyway, let's get into the rest of the video. The first fish is the perch. The perch is a fish that is green, white and grey and looks very similar to the pike. When cooked at a cooking station, it will become a food that will provide the player with around 9 energy. The perch is found mostly in the plains biomes and has about a 50% chance of being caught. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the pike. The pike looks very similar to the perch, however it has grey fins and grey dots on. When the pike is cooked at a cooking station it will become a food that will provide the player with around 12 energy. The pike is found mostly in the snow biome, but can also be found at Mrs. Snow's outpost and Philman's outpost. Has a 50% chance of being caught, and here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the trout. The trout is an orange finned, white, red and grey looking fish. When the trout is cooked at a cooking station it becomes a food that can provide the player with around 23 energy. The trout is found mostly in the plains biomes and has a 25% chance of being caught. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is a rainbow trout. The rainbow trout looks like a yellow and purpley fish with orange fins on the back. When the rainbow trout is cooked at a cooking station it will become a food that can provide the player with around 32 energy. The rainbow trout is found mostly in the plains biomes and has a 6% chance of getting caught. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the whitefish. The whitefish is a green finned, blue, white and green fish. When the whitefish is cooked at a cooking station it becomes a food that can provide the player with around 23 energy. The whitefish has a 100% catch rate at these locations which are provided on my map. The next fish is the haddock. The haddock is a brown and cream coloured fish. When the haddock is cooked at a cooking station it becomes a food that provides the player with around 17 energy. The haddock is caught mostly in the snow biomes and has a 20% catch rate. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the cod. The cod looks very similar to the haddock also having a brown and cream colour style. When the cod is cooked at a cooking station it becomes a food that can provide the player when eaten with 29 energy. The cod is found mostly in the snow biomes and has a 10% catch rate. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the salmon. The salmon is a tan and browny grey looking fish. When the salmon is cooked at a cooking station, it becomes a food that can provide the player with 14 energy. The salmon is found mostly in the full biome, but can also be found at Mrs. Snow's outpost and Philman's outpost. In the full biome, they have a 50% catch rate, but at the outpost, they have a 10% catch rate. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is a catfish. The catfish is a dark brown, tan and white fish. When the catfish is cooked at a cooking station, it will become a food that can provide the player with around 21 energy. The catfish can only be caught in the full biome, having a 25% catch rate. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the Arctic Shah. The Arctic Shah is a lovely red, black and grey fish. When the arctic char is cooked at a cooking station, it becomes a food that will provide the player with around 35 energy. The arctic char is found both in the full biome and in the fishing spots in the middle of the oceans. In the full biome it has a 5% catch rate, 
and in the middle of the ocean it has a 10% catch rate. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the redfish. The redfish is, as the name suggests, a fully red fish. The redfish, when cooked at a cooking station, becomes a food that can provide the player with around 34 energy. The redfish can only be found in the full biomes and has an 8% catch rate. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the salmon shark. The salmon shark has a bluey grey top to it and a white bottom. When the salmon shark is cooked in a cooking station, it becomes a food that can provide the player with a round 37 energy. The salmon shark can only be found in the fishing spots that are in the middle of the bodies of water across the map. The salmon shark has a 4% catch rate, and here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the black grouper. The black grouper is a greeny grey and tan coloured fish. When the black grouper is cooked at a cooking station, it becomes a food which can give the player around 35 energy. The black grouper can be found in both the plains and the snow biomes and has a 4% catch rate in them. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the misty grouper. The misty grouper is a purple coloured fish with white coloured stripes. When the misty grouper is cooked in a cooking station, it becomes a food that the player can eat, providing them 39 energy. The misty grouper can only be found in the full biomes and has a 3% catch rate. Here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the stingray. The stingray looks very similar to the salmon shark, also having a grey top and white bottom. When the stingray is cooked at a cooking station, it becomes a food that will provide the player with around 37 energy. The stingray is found in the fishing spots that are in the middle of the oceans. It has about a 4% chance of being caught and here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the swordfish. The swordfish has a long spiked nose, a black top and a grey bottom. When the swordfish is cooked at a cooking station it becomes a food that can provide the player with around 40 energy. The swordfish can be found at the fishing points in the bodies of water across the map. It has a 5% catch rate, and here are some locations on my map. The next fish is the tuna. The tuna is a light bluey grey fish with a yellow and black stripe. When the tuna is cooked at a cooking station, it becomes a food that can provide the player with around 9 energy. The tuna can only be found at the fishing spots in the middle of the bodies of the water across the map. It has a 45% catch rate, and here are some locations provided on my map. The next fish is the cave crab. The cave crab is an orangey-brown crustacean. When the cave crab is cooked at a cooking station, it becomes a food that will provide the player with around 14 energy. The cave crab is found at Raporo's cave, and at the Hittine cave. It's got a very high chance of being caught and there's some locations provided on the maps here. Credit to Vinternote, the website, for the map being used. The last fish is the axolotl. The axolotl is a water-based pink salamander. When the axolotl is cooked at a cooking station it becomes a food that can provide the player with around 19 energy. The axolotl can only be caught at one place on the map, and that's this pond in Raporo's cave. It's got a very low chance of being caught, um, and I've marked the location on this map for you. Credit to Vinternote for the map. So that's all the fish in the game. Uh, so this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, consider like, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be the hunting guide next week. See ya!